So hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Carbon Tech, and this is Anand. So first of all, happy on guys, and let's get to the first news. And the first news from the Apple: the Apple is going to be releasing their 15 series on September 12th. Official date is being confirmed, and they are going to be releasing the September 12th. The expected rumors are going to be maybe true. One of the main rumors about that the Type C. Without Type C, they are not going to be uh, sell in anywhere in the world because the European Union is so strict. And the major issue is that while they are providing the USB C Type. we can't use any other third party charging cable for fast charging and for fast data transferring uh, they must be using mfi manufactured by apple products something like that so the known mfi certified data cables can't be used for fast charging and for data transferring the files in iphone 15 series onwards and so you cannot use any other device uh, type c cable for fast charging and file transferring in iphone series onwards and other, another rumor is that they are providing type c cable uh, which is different in color uh, from 15 series onwards apple is using their own color codes in type c cables and this is how it look like some other rumor tells that apple even they can't be releasing the gaming tool Uh, for Mac users, that, that we can play the Windows games directly into the Mac, directly into the Mac OS by converting by using this toolkit. Hmm. Many of the Apple 14 Pro users are complaining that their battery capacity is dropping significantly within a year. That is a major thing that I saw because why are why are uh, spending about one lakh uh, for a luxury phone? That it's concerning. I think that it might be that much low quality battery is that they were providing for the iPhone 14 Pro series. Uh, I don't know how it will be. So by the way, I have two good news for me, and I am taking one of the electric scooters. And I am also taking an iPhone 5. iPhone 14 Pro Max, uh, 256 GB, which is uh, for just check the beam purpose and on uh, using it as a secondary device. Uh, while I'm using Realme 10 Pro Plus as my primary device, one of the iPhones get also exploded in India at Uttar Pradesh, and I uh, hope no one get injured as well. Uh, but these are the photos that I got. The Realme has released their Realme GT5 in China, which it comes with. Two variant of fast charging, 150 and 240 watt fast charging. I don't know who are going to be using this 24 GB RAM. From my own studies, I get that the RAM by adding a much RAM, it will consume more battery. They are adding 5240 mAh something like battery capacity in this Realme G, which comes with up to one TB memory. And this phone get uh, a dedicated chip for the display, which offer for game purpose. And the main camera is coming with 50 MB uh, Sony IMX something like that sensor and uh, which is up to a 1.9 aperture. Ah, it's a nice phone. Hope to be launching global in the market. Mm. So the Snapdragon announced their G series for the Qualcomm announces their Snapdragon G series for handheld gaming mini consoles and these are the screenshots. The board is going to be releasing their Ring which uh is used for tracking so the and the rumor is from Samsung Galaxy S24 and they are going to be having the peak brightness up to 2200 to 2800 nits and which is for that none of the phone yet get back so the Sony announces their new alpha series camera which is their 7C2 and 7CR so the Asus announces their unveils the world's first 4K 240 hertz monitor at Coma 2023 this is the second crack from there that they already released the 500 hertz uh, LCD display TV uh, gaming monitor and uh, this is the and maybe many of them know that the Samsung Odyssey monitor and which is a white cow they are going to be releasing their new and which is Neo G9 and some of the rumors from the Samsung that they are also shifting from curved display to the flat display and the bezel will be a little bit thicker And the Apple is giving a confirmed patent that they are going to be releasing a new ring which is capable of tracking. Samsung is also doing something like that, and the board already going release their own smart ring which is ten thousand or something rupees, which is not much affordable rate. And we can expect that the Samsung and the Apple will how much will be going to get their own smart ring. So the Meta is releasing their new uh, smart glass which. is collabing with the um, release their first gen uh, Ray-Ban stories uh, the main feature of one of them they, and they can directly live record the video to Instagram and this is one of the great feature that they provide and I don't know how many of them will be uh, using this uh, spectacle as a camera and uh, but it's a game changer I think so Apple is now worth Alphabet, Amazon and 
um, Meta combined and now they have a big company because uh, Meta is face facing that much uh, financial crisis nowadays and they are already giving many penalties for many other regions or many country in India they also want to be uh, fighting about cross privacy issues and the Facebook is now be going down and many of them I think so many of them are not using even I am also not using much Facebook so the OnePlus and Realme are going to be exceptional that television Xiaomi TVs are just take down the market of India. So this is a Honor teaser hot looking uh, conceptable affordable phone from them and this is all. So the Oppo Watch 4 Pro is unveiled and which it comes with the which comes with the eSIM uh, which can be uh, used for 4G connectivity and they also provide ECG and stainless steel body and the version is uh, Watch SE and it also comes with the eSIM feature and they also have the Snapdragon W5 and W5 Plus uh, Gen 1 a chipset for running the watches and they also provide 2GB RAM and 32GB Pro which is quite big uh, compared than another devices so the watch plant is their own native uh, macOS app and which is for video calling and for audio calling and the video calling support of the 8 people and the audio calling support of the 32 people you can download from the watch website so the TCL launches is their own uh, mini QLED TV which is uh, biggest in the world and uh, 115 uh, and this is approximately the price of 9 lakh. <laughs> Who gonna buy here? But uh, it gets launched only in China. And so these are my uses that from the this week. And hope you guys all enjoying this video. Have a great one for all you guys. And I will be back soon. Um, it's I know it's were too late for me to add this news. Uh, this news and uh, but I will make some more interesting uh, coming days. And have a great one. Goodbye.